Your friendly neighborhood YouTubers rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber guys, and here we are back with another, um, I don't know what this is going to be, man. I think it might be reorganizing my toy room, volume 9, man. As you guys know, I just, shut the fuck up! Anyways, Kat is freaking crying, he wants to play. But, uh, where was I? Um, so, as you guys know, I did a... Um, organizing my volume, organizing my toy room volume eight, like maybe like a week ago or something like that. So, as you guys can see, this is what happened has happened in the past week, man. Uh, my Mortal Kombat collection is destroyed, as you guys can see. I just organized that son of a bitch and it's freaking destroyed. Uh, my DC collection, not too bad, but it definitely needs to be organized because, as you guys know, I've been, um, I've been uh, doing a lot of comparisons with Marvel. Uh, just picked up a new, like, uh, reflector, light reflector right here for my toy review station. So hopefully uh, lighting is much better. But one of the main reasons why I'm doing another one is, as you guys know, I was planning to rearrange my Marvel Select collection. And as you guys can see, my freaking shelf right there is falling off the wall. My... Hulk right here. Hulk Ragnarok fell off. I, there was a big clunk in the middle of the night. He fell. As you guys know, this guy's freaking heavy. And good thing he fell because, yeah, he's not going to break. But, uh, yeah, man, uh, this is this is just a sign to for me to rearrange my uh, Marvel Select Collection. My X-Men are staying where they're at. It's just the rest of these. I kind of want them, put them all together and just kind of... I want to put my Avenger stuff up there. All my Avenger stuff and maybe move some of these figs. Maybe down here. Not really for sure. Maybe Ghost Rider. I'll maybe move down here. Maybe Thing. I'll maybe move down here. And then I'll just kind of move this off the side and just kind of keep this all like... X-Men related. You know what I mean? Marvel related. Because the thing in Ghost Rider don't really go with anything. So I'm probably going to... That's why I'm probably going to put them down here on this shelf right here. Um, being that I got Juggernaut right here. And the, like I said, the rest of these like Marvel uh, Avenger related figures can go up here. So that's going to be my plan, guys. Let's go ahead and actually let's fix this shelf because I got to drill some more holes in this shelf because it's not going to stay there much longer it's hanging on for dear life like i said as we speak as you can see my vampire bat has turned into a skeleton vampire bat because he's been hanging there for so long but anyways let's go ahead and let's uh let's make something happen shall we okay guys here we go so i think i finally got my marvel select collection how i want it to be is probably as good as i probably can get it um, so I left my X-Men, uh, alone. I moved my Phoenix over here next to Juggernaut and just kind of like random figures that don't really go with anything. I got my Ghost Rider over here. I got, uh, Thing right there. I got Planet Hulk right there. I was going to put him with the Avengers collection, but he doesn't really fit into like the Avengers format. And plus I got like three other Hulks up there to begin with. So let me show you what I did up on the top shelf so here are all the avengers right here and then some <laughs> i got i got like four different thors for i got uh the comic version thor i got dark world thor i got uh endgame thor back there i got ragnarok thor so yeah this is kind of like avengers right here right here guardians of the galaxy ant-man so on and so forth 
And then coming over here, it kind of goes into the Hulk section, the end of Thanos right there. Disney Store exclusive Thanos. And then we have the Red Hulk, and then we have Abomination, Hulk right back there. We have Carnage, Venom, Anti-Venom, and then all the kind of Spider-Man related villains. Punisher, Daredevil, Green Goblin, all that great stuff. So yeah, I think I kind of got how my Marvel Select Collection how I want it. I kind of moved my shelf up just a little bit to give myself a little bit more room. As you can see, I got holes in the wall right there, but um, I think this wall is like really, really weak. It's like made of drywall, and that's one of the reasons why this shelf is not holding all that well. But hopefully it will stay put. My vampire, skeleton vampire bat is hanging on for dear life right now. Um, and then come down here, I still have yet to organize my Mortal Kombat collection and my DC collection, we'll, which will I'll do right now because I want to put my Mortal Kombat lights and put it on display. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. And I completely forgot about my bases, too. I wanted to put my bases on display for my Marvel Selects. But as you guys can see, I just don't have any freaking room. And there's just no point for putting on bases. But there's my light right there, if you guys can see it. My Mortal Kombat light. And then I'll put it back here. And good thing about it is it's remote controlled. But I do have an outlet down here. So I might use an outlet and, and take the batteries out, being that I do have a plug for it. And this way, I, because I don't want to leave batteries in that thing. Because they're going to, um, what do you call it, not last. I'm trying to think of, I was trying to think of a word for it, but it's not coming to me. So yeah, it's actually, it'll be perfect right there because there's a light switch right there. Because I already have my other lights that are plugged in up there along the ceiling. So yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. So it was kind of good that I moved out all the Mortal Kombat figs to put that light there. But this is going to be my next stop right there, my next destination. Okay, guys, finally done, man. Finally done. So let me give you some updates. I had to rearrange my entire Mortal Kombat collection again. As you guys know, I had to break out all my Mortal Kombat figs because I was doing a review of this Mortal Kombat light right there, um, which I did a review of. So if you guys didn't see that, check it out. But yeah, here's my entire Mortal Kombat collection right there. Looks amazing with the freaking light, dude. really freaking dope and i have it plugged in down here right there so i'm not i don't have the batteries and i got the remote i can turn it off anytime i want to or i can just actually tap on it and it turns on by itself choose whatever color blue for the blue background keep it red if you want to keep it red green dark green however you want i actually like the blue because the blue goes good with the blue background but yeah, I can turn it on, turn off anytime I want to. So it goes really, really well with my Mortal Kombat collection, guys. Um, so turn that off. Re uh, fixed up my DC collection again. As you can see, it's not perfect. It's a little crowded because I've been buying so many damn DC figs. There's my new Superman right there next to Doomsday. Uh, yeah, everything looks really, really good, man. Everything turned out really, really nice. So there's that. There's the Dark Father right there. Didn't know where to put him, so I just put him in there, dude. Had no idea where I was going to put him. So I did that. I'm finally done, guys. Just a few ins and uh, ins and odds right there. And uh, I found the place to put my giant mall right here. So I had like a, a 90s Batmobile sitting right there. But I my Batman collection was not over here. So he didn't really go with anything because he's a Playmates figure. Uh, but it just so happens that he goes, he, he, he stands very well with his Saigor right here, which is part of my McFarlane collection, my Spawn collection. So even though this guy's not really McFarlane, he's kind of a raw 10. This guy's not really a McFarlane, even though he's from Image. It is from Playmates, but it's an older figure. But I had no... Um, no place to put him so he actually goes really really nicely right there between Cygor and Hulk over here so I think that makes the most sense <laughs> because uh you know if you guys saw a review of this guy he, uh, technically this guy is like the Hulk of the Wildcats so then put him next to Cygor another McFarlane uh figure um so yeah he, he goes very very well man I have to admit he goes very well right there just standing alone by himself so I took my 
Ow, motherfucker. I took my 90s Batman and I put it down here for now. I don't know what else I'm going to do with it. But it's just I had an empty shelf, so I might as well put it there. Because I can't really put it with my DC collection. Because as you can see, my DC collection is growing. And I'm, I'm, I'm literally running out of room for my DC collection. So, um, yeah, man. it's uh, I still got space. I still can put figures in there. But, uh, yeah, I am running out of room in my DC collection. So, um, that's a problem that I'm going to have in the future. A good problem I'm going to have in the future is where I can put more DC figs. But there you guys have it. I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. I... Uh, pretty much have my floor empty. I pretty much know where the rest of the stuff is going to go. But as of right now, I'm going to call it a day. I got my Marvel Select figures how I want it to be. Um, everything is good. The mall looks great. Everything looks good, man. So far, I'm, I'm pretty happy with all the figures that I got. Um, everything looks good so far. So, yeah, no complaints. All right, guys, if you tuned in to watch this video of me losing my mind <laughs> with all these damn action figures um, and how to display them and just hopefully giving you some ideas, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. But we'll go ahead and leave it at that. I'm telling you, dude, it's the end of the night. This was kind of a last-minute thing. So I just want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.